Here is what the Alexander Stefan, the author, says about the autonomy of the processes in nature and in the living matter, in particular. Stefan refers to this as the Sir Isaac Newton wisdom. The present-day medical science includes quite often a large number of aspects in the study of a particular problem in the functioning and operation of the human body. In this way, the problem was treated in its entirety, more or less, and the results are spectacular, revealing the workings of a human body as a whole. This is one way to investigate a human body and nature in general, namely to treat them as a whole. The present-day probabilistic quantum mechanics has in large extent a holistic character, the constituents of a whole, in addition to their holistic character, namely, their interdependence, very often have autonomy, as well. Newton, and many wise men before him, had focused on the autonomy of things and processes in nature. For example, in the thermonuclear fusion research, we do not care on how the changes of the moon might influence the thermonuclear process in the laboratory. Neurophysics, stem cell physics, and genomic physics, which are new disciplines in medical physics, study the human body on the molecular level, whereby the reductionist and ballistic aspects are intertwined. In other words, the mathematical methods of the Newtonian physics and the probabilistic quantum mechanics are used. Thanks to Newton, nature was not treated in its entirety, like in metaphysics. Physics and metaphysics got divorced thanks to Sir Isaac. Newton warned the generations of physicists to come, physics beware of metaphysics.